hi children today in our maths class we are going to study about comparing quantities chapter number 8 and uh, let's see the introduction and in our daily life there are many occasion when we compare two quantities वैसे दोस्तों में हम फ्रेंड्स के साथ हम खड़े रहते हैं तो फिर हम एक दूसरे का हाइट कंपेयर करते हैं या तो फिर कभी कभार खाना खाने के लिए स्पेशली ये होता है जब दो भाई या फिर भाई बहन बैठे हुए होते हैं तो हमेशा एक दूसरे के थाली में देखते हैं और वो भी वेन टेस्टी थिंग्स और द फूड विच यू लाइक द मोस्ट इज बींग सर्व टू यू that time you always compare your quantity of food with the quantity given to your brother or sister so comparing quantities today is based on this uh on the tracks in sports days that time you might have compared the speed of two participants running then uh, you even compare the weight of two person two objects two animals so in different way we compare so that's what our chapter is about and uh, how do we do that we are going to study so let's see the first example find the ratio of 3 km to 300 m we compare two quantities on the basis of their ratio you all have to remember that when you are comparing two quantities the units must be the same and when we write the ratio we never write unit because a ratio has no unit let's see example 1 of the textbook we have to find out the ratio of 3 km to 300 m you can see 3 is having km and 300 m so we will make the units same either you convert meter into km or you convert km into m i would advise you to always convert the bigger unit into the smaller one and so kilometer converting into meter 3 kilometer is equal to 3000 meter because 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter and so we multiply 1000 with the given kilometer to convert into meter ab hum uska ratio find kar sakte hain so in place of 3 kilometer you will write 3000 and the double dot like this tells you that we are finding out the ratio this is in ratio form 3000 is to 300 understood no units written and on simplifying we get 10 is to 1 zero zeros got cancelled 30 is to 3 30 on dividing by 3 you get 10 and nothing is left in the denominator place but when nothing is there there is one as a factor so 10 is to 1 is the ratio of 3 km to 300 m this is how you have to do the calculation when you are asked to find out the ratio of the given quantities first you have to check whether the units are same if the units are not same then you have to if conversion is possible convert it into same unit and then find out its reduced form and you get it in the ratio form now we proceed with the next topic equivalent ratios for that let's check example 2 here you are comparing the two ratios you are asked to find out whether both the ratios are equivalent or same or not to check that what will you do 1 is to 2 is written as 1 upon 2 and 2 is to 3 is written as 2 upon 
So what is the common denominator we can find out? What is the LCM of 2 and 3? It's 6. So to you have to convert, you have to change the denominator of 1 upon 2 by multiplying 3 you get 6. So 3 1s are 3 and 3 2s are 6. So you have 3 upon 6 and same procedure we carry out over here. When do you get 6 in 3 is table? 2s are. So multiplying 2 by 2, 2 2s are 4 and 3 2s are 6. So 4 by 6. We find that 3 by 6 is smaller than 4 by 6. That means 1 upon 2 is less than 3 by, 2 by 3. You will first check the denominators, find out the LCM of it and make the denominators same and then you compare the quantities. If you find the values are not equal then you see whether it is smaller than or greater than and then you can say they are whether equivalent or not. If the values are same then we call it equivalent. Okay. So finally you will answer it therefore the ratio 1 is to 2 is not equivalent to the ratio 2 is to 3 as the values are not same. Hope you have understood. Let us move on to the exercise 8.1. Okay children let us start with the first question under exercise 8.1 find the ratio of and the first sum under it is you have to find out ratio of rupees 5 to 50 paise. As I told you, explained you while I was explaining example number 1, you have to check the units whether they are same or not. No, one is in rupees, the other one is paise, but same. You can same in the sense they belong to one family, rupees and paise. Here the conversion is possible. If it was rupees with kilometer, then no way you cannot find the ratio of it. But here as rupees and paise belong to same family, you can convert it. Rupees I will convert into paise. 5 rupees is equal to how many paise? It is equal to 5 multiplied by 100 that is equal to 500 paise. Now, in place of rupees 5, we will put 500 because we know 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise. So, here we go. In place of 5 rupees, we will write 500 paise to 50 paise. And now, I will express it in the ratio form 500 is to 50. Simplify it 500 upon 50 zeros gone 50 upon 5 5 ones are 5 tens are that is equal to 10 upon 1 and ratio that is equal to 10 is to 1. How would you express 10 upon 1? If you are asked to write the find the ratio of then you have to express it in the form like this 10 is to 1. You can end up by writing it like this ratio of rupees 5 to 500 paise is equal to 10 is to 1. Like this we will be solving the rest of the three ratios given 15 kg to 210 gram then 9 meter to 27 centimeter and 30 days to 36 hours. Here in case of kg, 1 kilogram is equal to, sorry, 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram, then uh, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter and in case of days and hours, 1 day is equal to 24 hours. This comparison you have to keep in mind 
and 